Hey Aquarius and welcome to your tarot love reading for the month. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you in relation to love and romance. As always guys, these messages are general so please be mindful of that throughout the reading. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with me, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is along with all the information that you will need. So the messages here are intended for um, Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and also for those of you that may be dropping into Crosswatch as well. Let's take a look at the messages that are coming with the Ruby of this month. Okay, you've got the Ace of Pentacles that flew out, but it is in reverse for you here, Aqua. The Two of Wands here, the Four of Cups. Ace of Wands in reverse, the Devil, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, bear with me. I'm just going to fix the framing. Okay, that's better, Aqua. Okay, both the Aces are in reverse, which is very interesting because to me, you know, Aces do usher in new beginnings, but it seems like this month there's some sort of resistance that's being offered to a new beginning. You may be wanting for, you may be seeking a fresh emotional start or a new beginning with someone here. You may be wanting to start something here, but it seems to me like something here is not necessarily getting off the ground or something here is not happening in the way that you want for it to happen. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles energy here tells me that, yeah, I feel like you're, maybe you're investing a lot of feelings and, and emotions into a connection and you don't feel like it's necessarily being reciprocated here or you don't feel like this person is as invested as you are here. You could also feel as though there may be a missed opportunity or like a missed chance to get to know someone or a missed opportunity to have pursued a connection with someone. Um, you could also feel maybe you feel somewhat unstable like um you know this instability within the connection um or just within someone's energies here you feel as though you know you're wanting to invest into something or someone here but maybe you feel as though it's not necessarily the wisest of decisions maybe it's not necessarily a wise investment purely because you feel as though it's not reciprocated here you do have the two of wands here and this is about decisions i feel like you're in two minds and notice how the four of cups it sort of plays and feeds off that two of wands energy i feel like you're thinking deeply about something or someone here for some of you you may feel as though you're at a point in your life where if it's not love you don't want it okay you feel as though you want something serious you want something stable you want that you want love and you want passion and you won't accept anything less which is good for you here Aquarius because and this is why I feel like a lot of you you know you're hesitant about investing into something or someone where you feel like it may not be enough okay you want it to be you want something that's too much you don't want anything that's not enough here is what I'm seeing so I'm seeing some I'm seeing you being in two minds about it. You having to make some sort of decision this month or someone here is going to put you in a position where you're going to have to make a decision, okay? So you might have to choose them or choose something else here. You could even be torn between two different lovers here. The Four of Cups here, I feel like your emotions are going to be, they are going to sorry, overwhelm you. They may even take you by surprise here. You could also feel as there's someone here you could be losing interest in someone, okay? So, say for instance, you were invested in someone and this person wasn't, you know, reciprocating here. They weren't giving you the attention, the love that you deserve. Um, that, all of a sudden, you know, you were so invested into someone. But when you see that someone isn't, you know, playing on your level or someone isn't as invested as you are, it's sort of making you pull away here with the Four of Cups. Maybe you're losing interest or maybe you feel as though, you know, you're going to take some time away from this person you're going to take a step back and just see where you know where this is going because for a lot of you i feel like yeah it's sort of you're very you're in your mind about something with the four of cups um or you feel as though someone you know someone is taking you for granted or someone he is losing interest in you here someone he is pulling away from you okay so Guys, this is a general reading, so take it as it personally resonates with you. Um, it could be boredom as well, or like indifference, indifference, discontent, 
um, with the four of cups here but I feel like it's not just surface level, it's not just external, I feel like it's emotional here, Aqua. So I feel like there's something here, your feelings, you're not necessarily sure what you feel or what you should be feeling here. There could also be a event or a situation that happens this month here where I feel like it's going to sort of put you in a position where you're not sure how to react. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. You just... It's sort of, you're not sure how to react into this, to the situation. Or you're not sure exactly what to say to this person. Something is going to catch you off guard. You've got the Ace of Wands in reverse here, which tells me that I feel like where there was attraction, the flame is now dimming, it's flickering. Um, that's not to say it can't be ignited again. But I feel like with the Ace of Wands, you know, there is... Something here isn't growing is what I'm seeing. A connection isn't, it doesn't have momentum or there's no growth. It's, there's no movement forward. Something here feels stagnated or it feels like there's not enough fire to fuel the passion or the connection forward here. Something feels as though, you know, it's the flames are being put out with the Ace of Wands here. Um, I also feel like some of you could be getting fired up or getting fed up about something or someone here this month. Okay, again, I'm getting, you know, it's a slow, the Ace of Wands in reverse is a slow kind of in, uh, moving energy. Maybe you, you feel as though the spark is being lost. Um, something he feels maybe too intense. It could be a sense of predict, uh, you know, some, something is becoming very predictable, hence the losing interest or the boredom kind of uh, energy here. I'm also getting something is becoming too intense, okay? Something is becoming too intense here. The situation, the circumstances of a situation here, your feelings could be coming too intense. Maybe you feel strongly for someone and you're not necessarily sure what these emotions are because you haven't felt this way before. Um, it could also mean that you, um, it could mean that you sort of lack that drive to make that decision, okay? You lack that energy to just sort of get up and go, okay? Walk away from a connection that isn't serving you. Walk away from a connection where the passion is dwindling. Pull away from someone who feels like toxic or it feels like an addiction or an obsession to you. So, like... The devil brings in this sort of obsessive or addictive, um, intoxicating kind of quality to this spread. So I feel like you could be obsessed with something, okay? But I feel like someone here may be pushing you further away, hence the, you know, hence the saying, objection, um, sorry, a rejection breeds obsession. So someone, the further someone pushes you away or the further they distance themselves away, the closer you want to get to them, the closer you want them to be, um, Aqua. You've got the Eight of Cups, the moon here that lingers in the sky. You've got the full moon and you've also got, you know, the uh, the crescent moon here. Um, I'm seeing closure. So I feel like you need to put an end to something, whether it's this toxicity or this addiction or obsession or this, you know, whatever this is, I feel like there needs to be an end. There could also be someone who's walking away from you. There could be an ending that happens in some form. It could also be a closure that comes to you this month here, a romantic closure here. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like you're walking away from something because you're fed up with it, because the passion is no longer there. Maybe there's lust an infatuation a lot of it but there isn't any room for love unfortunately um so i see you walking away from it or you need to walk away from a situation um it's like you know you need to walk away but you choose to stay is what i'm seeing because the two of wands is like a delay you're delaying making a decision because simply put you're not ready you're not ready yet so there you go an interesting kind of month for you aqua um Thank you guys for watching, thank you for listening. Please do show your support by subscribing to this channel, by liking, commenting, perhaps even sharing. Um, if you are interested in that personal tarot reading with me, feel free again to just reach out and inquire. I do want to wish you all the very best and a happy February here. Um, happy Valentine's Day as well, guys. Um, bye for now.